Green Lantern Corps number 18, which was published in 2008, witnessed an epic fight between Superboy Prime and Sodamiat. After merging with Aeon, the sentient willpower that powers the Green Lantern Corps. The book opens with Sodamiat feeling the incredible power of Aeon as the Green Lantern's greatest weapon being unleashed. Superboy then attacked Aeon, telling him that he is acting pretty tough, but doesn't look that special. The two powerhouses clashed in New York City, with Sodamiat remarking that he is right where he wants to be, on the front lines, doing what needs to be done, doing what is right and what is just. The Guardians powered him with the Eon power, and they asked if he wanted it, and he told them that it took them so long to give him the power, Prime would like to make all the world disappear and bring to life a world that no longer exists. But since he can't do that, he just decided to kill everyone he feels needs killing, and now he wants to kill Aeon more than anyone else. The Guardians told him that along with the Aeon power, his Daxamite lineage would grant him unforeseen powers, the same powers of Prime himself. With that, they blasted each other with heat vision and tried to burn each other until there was nothing left to burn but the air, but Prime managed to knock Ion away, sending him into the Indian Point nuclear power plant. Suddenly, Ion felt weak, like someone turned down his power level. There was massive amounts of lead everywhere, which affected his powers. Prime then impaled Ion with a uranium rod and severely injured him. Ion explained that the walls were made of lead and remarked that the Guardians told him that there were limitations and that's why Prime managed to impale him with that rod. He then shoved the rod into Prime's mouth but he just chewed the uranium, remarking that he loves its taste in the morning. Ion then tried to flee, to put as much distance between him and the reactor as possible, but Prime told him that he was just getting warmed up, before throwing the rod and impaling him again. They then crashed into a cemetery in the Bronx, where Prime pounded on Ion, telling him that he wasn't that tough. Ion remarked that he should stop holding back, and that he should hurt Prime and kill him. He blasted him, remarking that his recovery is very slow. Prime then used his heat vision to carve few words on tombstones made for both Ion and planet Earth, but Ion attacked him, telling him that he will put his name on this rock, but Prime just hit him so hard, remarking that he likes this place a lot. He likes the sight of all these dead bodies around, but Ayan told him that he was a psycho, before they clash again, with Prime remarking that he has killed a bunch of Green Lanterns, and Ayan is not any more special than they were. Ayan tried his best to defeat Prime, and thought at one point that he faltered, but then realized that he was getting started. Prime pounded on Ayan without holding back, making Ayan feeling that he was going to die. After all, nobody lives forever. All he wanted was another second, another hour, or another day. He just can't let Prime win, not like this, but Prime mauled Ion and beat him to within an inch of his life. He could not see or hear any more, and eventually lost his consciousness. Holding Ion's dying body, Prime turned and asked John Stewart and Guy Gardner, who came to help Ion, which of them would like to be next. This is one of Prime's greatest fights ever in my opinion, which shows what this evil Superman is capable of doing to achieve his goals. He doesn't have any moral codes and doesn't hold back at all, making his fights among the most violent in comics world. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.